Marking the lines, taking out points, setting the level, dealing with grand workers, cheapies, steel fixers. These are only few responsibilities you're gonna have as a setting out engineer working on a construction site. And in today's video, guys, I'm gonna guide you through all this and I'm gonna tell you what is the best way to start your career as a site engineer, setting out engineer. So let's go. Guys, if you're just starting or you don't have much experience yet, I really recommend you to start for the one of the groundworks and frame contractors. And in terms of project size, the best would be some big one, medium to big one projects. And the reason for it, on jobs like this, there's already few engineers working, probably some senior engineer, maybe even project engineer. So the responsibilities go from very narrow to top and top, more and more. You will be very busy on jobs like this, guys. You're probably gonna have to work overtime and all the stuff, but that's gonna pay off as you're gonna learn quickly. And to be honest, you're not gonna be expected to do very much. So that's very good as well. Guys, very first thing, when you're gonna be starting on site, I actually expect you to ask questions. The more questions you're gonna ask, I know on site there are gonna be less mistakes. And at the same time, you're gonna learn more. Your first duties and responsibility is gonna be definitely setting out. And the very first thing gonna be the leveling. And it maybe looks like this is the easiest job actually to set a level, and maybe it is, but the small mistake doing the level causes the big problems so you actually really want to know what you're doing and how to use one of these so as a setting out engineer you're gonna be actually expected to take the information from the drawings and in this case in terms of levels that's gonna be mostly GA drawings and obviously you want to have a look at the sections as well and obviously once you're starting that's gonna be all dependent on the stage of the project you're starting as while you're gonna start from the very groundworks you might be asked for setting the level for the drainage for the pile caps or if the project is already running, there are some frames, I don't know, level three, four, five, whatever, you might be actually asking only to set a level for the decking and then for the concrete level slab. And once you actually hire, this is very easy, but when you're doing the ground works, you need to remember about small things. So when you set a drainage, for instance, you don't think in only about the pipe and the inver, but you think all the surroundings of it. So you need the details. And the same gonna go for manholes. When you think about the invert level of the manhole, you need to take into account all the base thickness when you're gonna be setting the level. So that's the small things you need to have a look. And as a setting out engineer, you're gonna be expected to have a look at these things. The second thing you're gonna be doing on site, that's gonna be us builds. And this is typically for junior engineers and assistant engineers. But also I would give this job for the setting out engineer when he's starting on site, if there is a chance to give him a few days. This way you're gonna know the site, you're gonna know where the targets are, how to do the resection and all the stuff. And for me guys, this is gonna show me the level of your experience, show me how you work and give me information about you as well. So for all these, us builds, that will be the survey program actually using the total station. It depends what station you're gonna be using. You can check one of my videos when I cover in the surveying program on the Leica total station. And that will gonna give you the idea how, you, how it works and how you can do it on site. But sometimes happen if you come actually as a setting out engineer on site, you might be actually asked to go just straight away doing setting out, setting out the elements and all the stuff. And I personally don't like it. I like to give people some time to, to look at the drawings, to make sure they know all the information. They actually confident themselves to do setting out, but it really depends on the job. And as I'm talking about the frames here, there's pros and cons. That will be actually one of these advantages of going to frames. You might be actually just drawn to the deep water and then you have to swim. But that guys, it's another good thing for you. And you can turn it actually in your advantage as you're gonna learn very quick. The second thing after the us build guys, uh, and that will be obviously more for setting out engineers as when you're gonna be assistant junior engineers. No one really should give you too much responsibility in terms of uh, setting out unless they all confident after you do some us builds as I said, you, you do some leveling and everything is good. They actually gonna give you the opportunity to set out. But that's gonna be mostly for setting out. And this is actually when I call it the real setting out. So then you're gonna be expected to go take the information from the drawing and go outside, mark the lines. And same as before, guys, depending on the stage of the project, you might be actually asked for to just do the stakeout and mark the points for the manhole position or maybe the corners of the building. Obviously, you're gonna need use a total station for it. And that depends what total station gonna be available for you. You need to learn how to do the stakeout and all other programs. But the stakeout, you can have a look on one of my videos here and then you can have a look what it's all about. Next thing as a setting out engineer are gonna be marking lines. And I would say that's gonna be nearly your full-time job. Lines, lines, and lines. And that might be guys actually setting the lines for everything really like pile caps, drainage lines, columns, slab edges, and beams. And you will be mostly used for it at the reference line. And you can have a look as well on one of my video covering this topic. So guys, like one engineer said to me once, lines and levels are all they need. But in reality guys, to be a good engineer, you need to know all things about the lasers, uh, how to set the level. You need to know all about the EDMs, instruments, be confident with them. And obviously you need to take the information from the drawing. So that's another big one. And 
don't be afraid too much. Obviously, the level of confidence is going to grow with your experience or with the time you're going to be doing setting out. So guys, I'm going to be slowly ending this video. But what I want you to remember, once you know a little bit about the setting out, you're quite comfortable with it, you should go actually for the setting out engineer position and found some Groundworks frame contractor. And as I said, the best would be quite big projects. So there are going to be few engineers. You're going to get your EDM. But then you're going to still have some time to ask the questions and to know, know the job. And because the job is going to be quite big, you're probably going to be doing only setting out at first. So that's the main reason I recommend you this, guys. No one's going to be expecting too much from you about, about the QA, about the drawings, about the rebar. They actually want you to set the lines, do the levels, but just be confident with it. And this way, you're going to learn the fastest way, really. So guys, I hope this video helps you a little bit. And especially when you're starting, you should go for assistant engineer junior engineer once you know how to use the EDM once you know how to use the laser and you got the basic information about the drawings you should actually go for the setting out engineer job and that's the reason why I recommend you to, to take the Groundworks frame contractor especially the quite big jobs where there are going to be few engineers you're going to have still got some time to ask the questions to know the job yourself and the level of responsibility is going to be only focused on, the, on actually marking the lines setting the levels and keep an eye on guys so you don't really need big knowledge about it you don't need a degree for it you actually can go on site and once they're going to see you can you, you are quite confident with the level with everything you're going to be doing this role no one's going to be asking any questions so guys thank you again for watching remember don't be afraid to, to jump on the maybe he, little higher level job you think about because you're never going to be ready before you try it so that that would be the main thing in this video so guys please don't forget to leave the thumbs up if you like this video and don't forget to subscribe to join the best engineering community thank you again and see you next time